With Library selected here in the sidebar, we have a selection of four view modes across the top. This only appears in the library view. If I switch to Favorites, or look at an album, it will disappear. Switch to the Years view, and as you might expect, the library is broken down by year. Each year that has at least one photo or video in the library will have its own icon. Slowly drag your finger across each icon to preview the images within it. Single tap on a year and we're moved into Months view. In here we can scroll month by month, most recent at the bottom. Tap on a month and we move into Day view. This presents a curated view of your images arranged by date or by date range. Tap and hold on an image here to view its motion if it's a live photo or video. We can also share, favorite, or delete using this menu. Single tap on an image to expand it. And we can swipe left or right to move through the day view images. Swipe down or tap the arrow in the upper left to return to day view. If I scroll down to the latest image here, we can see that our day view is curated. So Photos is using a form of machine learning to find the best images and not show a lot of duplicates or similar images in day view. Switch to all photos for a grid view of every photo and video in the library, with the most recent at the bottom. Tap the ellipsis button and we can use the filter command to only view a specific set of images. If I want to only see the videos in this library that have been edited, I can tap Edited here, then tap the filter icon that appears when a filter is active, and then I can add videos to this filter. There are only eight videos that have been edited in this library. Notice that when a filter is active, our library views are not available. Tap up on the filters icon again and uncheck each parameter to return to the full all photos view. 